In the last section, we finished up our review of ES6 classes by looking at how we subclass or extend a base class. I think that we've got enough review on the ES6 side of things, so we're now ready to come back to our index.js file and clean up the implementation around creating a new tray and then associating a click event handler with it. Now, I want to tell you right now that Unfortunately, doing this refactor here with these subclasses and all this stuff, this is some very tricky stuff that we're about to do. It is, without a doubt, very, very tricky. Okay, so I wanna just prep you right now. It's not the easiest thing to, to do in the world. And as a matter of fact, this is probably my sixth time of trying to record this lecture and make sure that everything is as abundantly clear as possible. So again, very tricky, but we're gonna go through it. Once you see the completed code, I think that a lot of this stuff is gonna make a tremendous amount of sense, but as we are doing the refactor, it might be confusing, okay? So if we're going through the refactor and you're thinking, Steven, this is crazy, what are you doing here? Why are we doing this? Why are we making this change? I just wanna remind you that at the end, we'll do a review on exactly all the code that we changed, and I think that it'll be a lot more clear why we did this refactor, because at the end of the day, this index.js file is gonna look dramatically more cleaned up, much more simple, much more straightforward. Okay, so with that little disclaimer out of the way, let's get to it. We're going to do our refactor to create a new timer tray class that extends the functionality of the tray base class. Let's first start off by reviewing what the tray is doing right now, and then talk about exactly what our timer tray is going to do. Okay. So right now, we have our tray base class. This is coming from Electron. So this is something given to us by Electron. We are currently calling the constructor of the tray and providing it an icon path. That's what we're doing right here on line 21 or so. So remember that when we use the new keyword, that calls the constructor method on the tray class. So this is calling the constructor and it's passing it a path to the icon. Immediately after that, we call the dot on method, which takes an event name and a callback. So here, right underneath it, we call dot on, we pass in the event name that we wanna watch for, and then the callback to execute whenever that click event occurs. So the entire idea behind the refactor is that I want to get this click event handler into a tra timer tray class. So I don't wanna see this click event handler set up inside of the index.js file. I wanna set up this click event handler in some other location inside of my code base where it makes a lot more sense and it's a lot more predictable where this code is going to sit. So we're going to make the timer tray. We're still going to define the constructor on it. Remember that the timer tray extends the tray base class. And clearly the tray base class has some amount of initial configuration or initial setup inside of it. We know that for sure because we have to pass it the icon path. So when we create this timer tray, we wanna make sure that the base classes constructor still gets called. So that's why we're going to use that super keyword that we spoke about in the last section previously. So when we make our timer tray, we're going to make sure that we call the base class constructor by calling that super keyword and passing in the icon path. That's gonna make sure that the tray gets set up as it had been done before. So I think that would be a great place to start with our refactor. Let's just get everything working like basically as it is right now. Let's just create the timer tray. We're going to set up the constructor and we're going to make sure that the timer tray's base class of tray is still getting set up as expected. That's gonna be stage one. After we finish with stage one, we'll then come back and set up the onClick handler as well. Okay, so step one, we're gonna make the timer tray class, we're going to extend the tray, and then we're gonna set up everything having to do with the constructor. We'll first start by creating a new directory that's going to house the file that's going to contain the timer tray base class. So inside of my root project directory, I'm gonna make a new folder called app. And then inside of here, I'm gonna make a new file called timertray.js. So inside of here, I want to make my timer tray base class and I want it to extend the tray, or excuse, I wanna make the timer tray class and I want it to extend the tray base class. There we go. 
So we'll start off by requ requiring an electron at the top. And then we're going to destructure tray off of that. So the tray right here, this is the base class that we want to extend. I want to add some additional behavior to the tray. So we'll say class timer tray extends tray, like so. Just to be 100% clear, the name timer tray right here, this is just something that I completely arbitrarily made up just off the top of my head. We could have just as easily called this my tray or custom tray whatever we want it to be. I just thought that the name timer tray really echoed the purpose of our application. So I decided to call it timer tray. Before I forget, I'm going to export the class that we're creating at the bottom of the file. So I'm gonna say module.exports equals timer tray, like so. Okay, so back on task. Remember that our goal right now is to set up the timer tray base class or subclass and set up the constructor function inside of it. So inside of here, I'm gonna define my constructor. Do triple check your spelling here, make sure you have constructor spelt correctly. Now I want to, inside of my timer tray, inside of the timer tray's constructor, I wanna make sure that the parent constructor gets called with the icon path. So inside of timer tray's constructor, I'll call super, and I need to pass in an icon path. So presumably, I'm going to assume that whenever I create an instance of timer tray, I'm going to pass in the icon path to the constructor. Now at this point in time, we have subclassed the tray and we have added absolutely no additional functionality to it. So if I go back over to the index.js file and create an instance of timer tray instead of tray, I would still expect the entire application to work as the way it was working before with absolutely no changes whatsoever because we have done no further configuration of the timer tray. So just to make sure that we have not messed up anything so far, let's go back to the index.js file. We're going to import the timer tray that we just created and replace the existing tray with timer tray. And we're just going to say, hey, does everything still work? Yep, it does, great. We can move on to the next step. So I'll go back to index.js I'm gonna go up to the top of the file. Up here, we're going to require in the timer tray that we just created. So I'll say const timer tray require from the app directory timer underscore tray, like so. Now I'm going to replace the usage of tray that we had previously with the timer tray. So I'll scroll on down. I'll find when we were creating the new tray I'm gonna replace the tray with timer tray, like so. Again, the idea here is I just wanna have equivalent functionality just as a total baseline, just to make sure that we're going down the right path here. So I'll go back over to my terminal. We're gonna test this out by closing our application and then starting it back up. So when I start up my application, I still get the icon up here in my taskbar, and I can still click it to open everything up. So it looks like at this point in time, we still have 100% equivalent functionality to what we had before, but rather than making use of the tray directly, we're making use of the timer tray subclass. So we're now in a great position where we can come back and do a little bit of refactoring to pull this big click event handler into the timer tray subclass. So let's do that refactor starting in the next section.